In this introductory tutorial, we're going to have a look at setting up an SDP. There will be a series of parts, but the first part we're going to tackle is I'm just going to share this model with all of you so that you've got an example of a completed model and you can go and retrieve a lot of the family information from this model. Okay, so there's a lot of information in this model that you can go and take and use for yourselves. Okay, so like the hand ratings, those types of objects you can take out of this project. Okay, this is not a, a totally complete project yet, but it's in the process of being completed. But there's enough information here so that we can complete our SDP. I know a lot of you have been working on your models and you would have noticed it takes some time to produce these models. Um, to have a complete fine-tuned model, it does take a bit of work. Okay, but for this exercise, I've got enough information now to go and start setting up my SDP. Okay, so the first thing we're going to have a look at, I've got some basic floor plans. Okay, for this exercise for the SDP, we're only going to focus on the basement and the ground floor plan. Okay, so I'm not going to spend time on the first and second floors. The only thing that you need to consider is that you've got services that will need to run down the building. So that's something that we'll tackle just so that we know where the services are running so that we can show that on our basement and ground floor plan. So we're going to have a stub stack or stack that will lead to these bathrooms that will have to run down into the basement at some point. Okay, so we do have a lot of space to accommodate these services. So that's what we'll tackle. Okay, so we're not going to worry about these plans and these plans are pretty rough at the moment. So we will use this opportunity to start refining this information. Okay. All right, so there's enough here. Let's just go and have a look at the elevation. So the elevations of interest will be our north, south, and west elevations. And you can see, once again, these are pretty basic. I'll need to start switching off the reference planes and start fine tuning these elevations somewhat. Okay, but there's enough information here to start, start working. And there's a lot of elements that we'll have to draft in addition to this. So for example, for our SDP, we need to show the west and south elevation but the south elevation, the whole site, there's going to be some additional information that I need to add to this. So I will export this information to AutoCAD and then bring it back in as a drafting item that I can simply just copy because I don't want to spend time uh, modeling all this information. We don't have the time at the moment to do that. And that's quite typical in some projects like this. Okay. All right. So we've got enough information to start getting our sheet set up. Okay. And then the last thing we're going to go and look at is the section. Okay, the section, likewise, we've got some basic site information, but there's a lot of work that we need to now go and add to the section. So we need to draft in how the basement tanking is going to work, how the footings for the slab will work. So in essence, these will have toes. But you can see, for example, Revit's done a fairly good job. Just remember one thing to consider, especially like these advanced types of stairs, Revit's never going to get this type of stuff perfectly out the box because there's a lot of mathematical algorithms that are happening in the background to produce this model. So Revit's not always going to get it correct, but we'll draft and make it look correct. However, just bear in mind, you can, you can create a model in place of the stair where you can do a lot of the fine tuning. So you can recreate the stair in a lot more detail, okay, and a lot more precisely but it's a manual lay, uh, modeling process and it does take a bit of time. Um, you can see I've used some beams and you can just simply start joining that later on. But when we get to the drafting part of the section, we will tackle that. Okay, but this is just a brief introduction to the model. Okay, uh, all my families that I've been loading in here will be hosted in this project file over here. So you can see the doors, for example. So you've got two options. You can simply copy and paste the doors into your model or you can start simply right clicking and you can save these to your own library. Okay, so that's that's an option. So start creating your library, working on your library. But remember, we're also going to do a lot of drafting. So yes, there's some elements we haven't modeled yet, but there are occasions when it's not required. We don't have to model everything. Okay, we just need to produce a set of decent drawings. But you can see the model has come up pretty well. Okay, and it's very legible. Okay, so that's what we're going to this is just a brief introduction and you can all access the model as well, which you'll get on ClickUp. I'll find some other ways to share it as well. For example, Microsoft Teams. 
But I hope this is uh, going to be a fun process. I know that the deadline is quite near, but I'm sure we'll be able to achieve the required outcomes. Just remember going forward, there's a lot of modeling that you'll still need to do before the end of the year. So use this opportunity to improve your skills because the construction at the end of the year, you have to resubmit your whole complete portfolio. So you've got time to rework and get familiar with some of these topics. In addition to this series of SDP tutorials, I'm going to cover how to model this building from start to finish. So how to use beams, how to create raining systems, how to use your shop fronts, how to use windows. Okay, so there's a lot of information that we'll be covering and I'll be producing a series of tutorial videos to help you model a complete project.